Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will be basically discussing about percentile and quantiles. So this is a very important concept guys. Again, this is basically related to statistics and machine learning. Uh, this you need to understand because most of your distribution that you'll be seeing in your data set, you have to refer percentile and quantile when you're doing statistical analysis. So let me take an example. Suppose you have a feature age, sorry, height, and suppose you have all these values like 168, 170, and these all are measured in centimeters. So here you basically have 10 different values. Okay. Now we'll try to understand what exactly is percentiles. To actually calculate percentiles, first of all, we have to take this data set and sort it out. So I have sorted out over here. You can see 150, 140, 150, 160, 168, 170, 170, 175, 180, 182, and 190. Now after sorting, okay, let me consider this fifth number. Now you can see that I have 10 numbers totally, right? Now, if I take this fifth number, which is my 170 value, suppose this is my 170 value, I can basically call this as 50th percentile. Again, I'm saying guys, 50th percentile, not percentage. Okay, percentage is completely different. Percentile is completely different. Uh, if you have actually written CAT exam, some gate exam, at, at that time, you'll basically be seeing this particular term, which is called as percentiles. Now, let me explain you what this exactly means. Now, suppose the fifth student has got 170 marks, right? So in this particular distribution of only 10 students, so I can call this particular person as getting 50th percentile, which indicates that 50 percentage of the values are less than 170. Okay, 50 percentage of values are basically less than 170 and 50 percentage of values are greater than 170. Okay, this is what basically indicates. Now, suppose if I want to calculate the 90th percentile. So this is basically my 90th percentile. This basically indicates that 90 percentage of values are less than 182 value. Okay, 182 score and 10 percentage are basically greater than 182 score. Now, when I say uh, 50 percentage of is are less, that basically means from this distribution. Okay, guys, not other distribution from this distribution based on the sample that you have over here. If you are getting a 50 percentile value of 170, you are basically treating it as that 50 percentage of people are basically having less number than this particular value that is 170. Okay, now this is a simplest explanation guys. I hope you un you're understanding it. Now where we will be using it, we will be using basically to do a lot of statistical analysis that again, I'm going to show you in the upcoming videos. Now we are going to understand what exactly is quantiles. Now see guys from this particular distribution, if I get the value as 25 percentile some value, 58 percentile some value, 75 percentile some value and finally 100 percentile some value. First of all, what does this basically mean? This basically indicates that 25 percentage of your value or in this particular distribution less than this particular value, right? Whatever value I've got for 25 percentile. Similarly, in this case, 50 percentage of our values over here in this distribution are lesser than this particular value what you're getting for 58 percentile. Similarly, in the case of 75 percentile and 100 percentile, these values are basically called as quantiles. Now, how do you call this as quantile? This is basically called as your first quantile, second quantile, third quantile, and finally your fourth quantile. So quickly, if I want to mention that, tell me the third quantile in this particular distribution, I have to basically refer at the 70th percentile. So if you have 100 to 1 to 100 percentile at that time that are basically divided by four values because quant specifies 25 percentile. So the difference between all this particular value, you can see that the difference between 50 percentile and 25 percentile is 25. Again, 75 percentile and 50 percentile is again 25. 100 percentile and 75 percentile is again 25. So this was all about this videos regarding percentile and quantiles. Again, guys, what is the right application of this? I'm going to explain you in the upcoming videos. I hope you like this particular videos. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel, share with all your friends. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you one and all.